Thank Welcome you. to the town board meeting, March 21st. Please rise and salute the flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Emergency exits are behind the town attorney and also the door you came in. Roll, please. Councilwoman Smoji? Here. Councilman Gutierrez? Here. Councilman Doyle? Here. Supervisor Prodi? Here. And let the record reflect that Councilman Morris is absent. Public comment? That would be you. <laughs> please just come up to the uh, microphone and introduce yourself. Good evening. My name is James Amodio. Um, it's my sister Marianne there, Hi. and uh, Mike Tenner. Te oh, Helliday. Is it? And uh, you guys should get Kippy. You get, I don't know your last name. Um, we're here today because we are in the process of buying a piece of property at 549 Route 22 in Amenia, which is owned by uh, Kippy here at the moment. Um, we're, we're, we, we are here because we want to tell the town what, what we plan on doing on that piece of property and um, before we finish the purchase. Um, we own a business in right now in White Plains, New York. It's, uh, we've been in business since 1939 and we manufacture topsoil, mulch, and compost. Um, the property we're looking to expand, and this piece of property came up for sale. So we're here to s just make sure that the property is allowed to do. Well, we've already—I guess—we've already checked that we are allowed to use the property for those for those purposes. But we want to know if there's anything that the town disagrees with, or you know, before we make the purchase. Sorry, the address again was. 549? It's old Route 22. Old Route 22? Old, old Route 22. It's the old, uh, was it? What, Allen, uh, Allen property? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Did the building inspector and our zoning enforcement officer clear the use of that property for that we, we, use? The building inspector? Yeah. He did? Yes. We, can't, we had a meeting with the building yeah. inspector. Okay, so he would probably be the one to find out whether or not that was an allowable use or not. He, yeah, he said it was, it was fine. And did we, you want, just, can you expand on that a little bit as far as the type mulch and what you're planning to do? Uh, what we're planning to do is, um, right, right now we're working on down in White Plains about five acres. And so this property has 60 plus acres. Um, we don't plan on using 60 acres, we plan on using about 10 of it. And what would happen is uh, we would bring in wood, nat only natural wood, uh, brush, um, you know, uh, leaves, grind them, and then compost them and make, them in make that product into a recyclable product, which we sell as mulch. We would also be, on the property there is um, a lot of bank row, the property that we're looking to buy. And we would screen that out, and I, the bank run material we would be mixed with the compost to make topsoil. We would also like to open, be able to open, allow people to local local businesses and homeowners to dump and you know get rid of their organic waste there. Oh. Um, the it's our, the property is DEC permitted. Uh, we are already, we already, uh, our business already owns permits to be allowed to do that work from New York State. Um, there will be some tra truck traffic, but it will be coming in on the Route 22. Just Isn't that called a solid waste management facility and that's not allowed in the town of Amenia? I, I, we've had this discussion and other business proposals. Roxbury, for instance, is also considered making compost there, where you're allowed to store it there, but not make it there. And the same came up with a facility south on Route 22 that was um, 
recommending bringing stuff in from right. Westchester and creating compost. So my understanding from those two issues is that solid waste is not allowed anywhere in the town of Amenia. Is that I don't know because true? when we talked to the building inspector, I don't, what was his, I don't know his name. Yeah, he said he didn't seem to have a problem with it. So I don't I don't know. That's why we're here to you know. Okay. So I would about just things, uh, yeah. ask that question: Is yeah. uh, what is the definition of a solid waste management yeah, that, facility? That, 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 you're correct. That's exactly the thing. What's the definition of solid? Exactly. Waste? Not the regular contaminated material. Right? Can you do it? Come Did you go to the microphone? You guys can't hear me. Well, the people, well, people, well, the people at home want to hear you. I just, it just say since we've owned it down there, yeah. uh, we've been doing yes, compost. Right. We've been brought in from. We have a permitted compost site up there in, in Clovrack, New York, that right. we run. So we, it was easier for us instead of setting the site up down here at this time to bring it into the site and use it for a mix. And everybody should understand composting is the way that things are being done nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not bringing in anything that's contaminated. It's always going to be either grass, it could be leaves, it could be brush, and it could be wood products and stuff like that. It's the most natural thing that goes on around this valley every place you go. In the woods, composting goes on constantly. Uh, we're taking stuff that has to be, when there's other cities and towns down further around here, you, people have to get rid of this product. You know, big storms come through, trees break down, they have to take them up, they have to go someplace. Uh, and this is the most, like I said, it's the most natural thing. We're making topsoil. I try to tell people that. I said, you understand, we're not doing anything with pollutants. We're not doing anything. You're making a soil. And remember this, DEC oversees the whole operation. So they run the operation to make sure it's up to, it's got to be permitted through them. They make sure it's done properly. Uh, we have a DEC permit on the site now. For composting. We, for, for composting, we're setting stuff on the site, making topsoil, and turning around and making uh, uh, and dealing with the bank run and soil and stuff like that. So, well, I think that you need to look at our town laws and make sure that the activities that you're proposing actually are legal according to our town law. And if they are, you know, I think, you know, that's great. But what. DEC would oversee the whole thing? Absolutely. Absolutely. And they would do make sure, how do you make sure that um, Roundup and herbicides and pesticides that have been applied to uh, grasses and lawns and the pesticides that are, are placed on the chemicals that are used on fruit trees and that kind of thing right. are not contaminating? What I, well, we have DEC come up to our site constantly. They're always in on our site. Actually, we're doing even food waste now. We have a, we're permitted for taking food waste in. That has to be at again, Roxbury. At, no, up no. here at our okay. site in oh. Clover that we're okay. permitted for our compost site that's up there. We, I said we don't do anything to that down here at this point. We just bring it in down there. But I'm saying food waste is allowed product. It's actually coming out of the cities because uh, they're not allowed them to put them on landfills anymore. And, and it's all biodegradable as long as it's clean. So I mean, you know we've had to go through that process. But that even does makes a great compost too. It's, you know, it's a natural waste of the human, human. That's what we do. We make all this stuff, and then, of course, we're just loading the landfill. So now the composting is the way to do a lot of this stuff, and it's all clean, and it's all regulated. And that's what I say. So DEC comes in and inspects your site. We report to them up there every year. Have to go through what we bring in, where it comes from. they got to know all that kind of information before they even allow you to do it. And then they come in and regulate your site. So, I mean, it, this is, would do the same thing down here. You know, this is a different area. I think we're region four. This is region three down here, but it's still overrun by DEC, stuff like that. So, to say the stuff comes in, they won't allow it because they're the ones who would be in trouble if, you know, if something ever came in wrong. You know, and they do monitor to make sure the stuff comes in right. They'll come down and inspect your site constantly, and we have that coming all the time. But you know, we're doing it constantly. We do it right. So that's the biggest thing, and I think this is what they do right too. Down so there. our town laws are. Uh, what you should look at first, and then the DEC. Right. Yeah, the DEC supersedes, I mean, the town, whatever the town laws are, but I'm just saying that the DEC, he has to go through the DEC for permits of whatever they have to do down there. So just to let you know, it's just that they're going to start. DEC has to okay everything. Um, could I just add, do you think it would be possible for you to, like, uh, put together a simple presentation so that we could show it one day here on the town board so that the, the public that's 
coming in and watching us who may not know what composting is and how it's being done, and it would alleviate any of their fears about right. pollutants and stuff like that. Um, I think that would be very useful and helpful. Uh, because some of us do understand what you're saying, but not everybody will. They might think you're going right. to pollute the, the land or the water or the, the air. The biggest thing is, you're right, Eric. The whole thing about the thing, it's got to be monitored and checked constantly to make sure that pollutants don't come in. And it can happen. People have done sites like that. I understand that. Right, right. But the, the whole thing to make this work is the person doesn't want to do that because he doesn't want to have the problems that will come with that with bringing illegal stuff in. You know, it's just, you're opening yourself up for lawsuits and all that. You don't want to do that. No, we don't. You know, Absolutely not. But I always say this to remember everybody's got to remember a lot of people use compost on their yards. It's true. They use it for growing gardens. We're That's in, true. We make a great garden soil up in our area. People just love it for gardens. You know, it's made out of compost, peat, humus, and manures. Right. And it just adds to that. So that's the newest thing. A lot of people do that kind of stuff. And this is what we do. We supply that kind of stuff, compost sites, if it's done right. And it has to be done right because if it doesn't grow anything or something, then you, you know, so. You and then, of problems. course, the composting is a cover crop, a crop on top of your gardens or in your flowers and stuff. So That's true. I think, yeah, I think they could bring in a nice hit because they do it very good where they make what they do and bring it. So you understand where it comes from. You That's, know. That would, I think that would be very helpful uh, yeah. most <coughs> to, to the public that's out there because of this business coming in and everybody worries about the, you know, the pollutants the and pollutants. all of these Absolutely. things. Absolutely. You know. You know. Um, but that, like I said very closely, that is monitored very well, right. absolutely, and there's a lot of fines involved with that with DC if something goes wrong. And one thing I've learned through this thing, when DEC says, the one rule states, once it's on your property, it's your headache. So in other words, just, you just can't say, well, the guy dropped a load of something out. No, we have to make sure that once it's on the ground, it's our headache, so that's the problem. So we're held accountable for it. So, so just, just, to, just to be very frank with the prospective buyer, uh, we went through this, what was it, about a year ago? Um, and I would encourage you to start by doing what Vicky said and just examining the... the well, we, were, we, we did that already. We already had a meeting with him. With who? Could you... Segelkin? Yes. Mike. Would you like to? Yeah, could you go up to the microphone, please? We, uh, we already uh, spoke with the town. Um, I guess isn't my Building inspector. The building inspector. So, and he didn't seem to have any problem with anything. We just were okay. talking. He took out his zoning laws and went through everything. And, he said it was okay. So, so we, we should we should follow up with him and get that. But yeah. uh, were you going to jump yeah, in here? Yeah, I, 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 do you guys have counsel with regards to this particular purchase? Yes. I think as part of your due diligence, you should find out whether or not it's a permitted use, whether or not you can do what you want to do. Um, and a lot of these issues are really planning board issues. Um, mm -hmm. This that, that presentation should be before planning board. Um, so I think that you should operate on the advice of your own counsel on that um, and perhaps uh, preliminarily contact the planning board to see if there's any guidance that you can obtain from them. But I don't think that um, at this stage a presentation before this board would be appropriate. Well, they're uh, just letting us know no, what, yeah. what, they're inter interested what they're interested in doing, which is totally appropriate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and we appreciate the heads up and the thing, but this may not, we may not be best equipped to give you uh, the best guidance at the moment. Um, no, I will no. say that the, the, uh, the resistance that the former applicant encountered, both from the town and the surrounding neighbors and the community, um, had less to do with what the DEC would permit there and had more to do with just general noise, activity, dust, uh, potential for uh, contamination of groundwater based on the focus focused activities of composting uh, and the size of it and the size um, that property is also on a DEC protected stream if I'm not mistaken yep. um, and so that that may be something else you might want to look at I know but um, when we say composting it's kind of vague. I mean, we're the the majority of our business is to make topsoil mm -hmm. right. and to grind mulch right. out of wood products. So I don't know. Like we don't we don't take in grass. I know Kippy does it. His but we we don't we don't deal in grass. 
So the contaminants are pretty much, we're, we're not bringing in any soil in. We're gonna use the soil that's already there that's permitted to be mined by the DC. There's a, there's a couple hundred thousand yards of material that's allowed Remaining. to be mined that they already have the permit. So I can't see any contaminants being a problem. Um, okay, I, I, I would mean, also- A piece of wood is not, you know, a piece of oak, I don't know how that's going to be contamination. We don't have we get inspected daily. So you don't you won't are. do grasses at all? No. No. So I think that was a concern by one of the council. So one I think you here. just have to look up uh, you know, the town's definition of solid yeah. waste and just see if what you have proposed meets any of those criteria and and then see if it isn't allowed this is from memory i believe it's not allowed anywhere in the town of amenia but just mm -hmm. i think that was the key word i think you know everything else is is you know we can mitigate or whatever talk about yeah. the other environmental issues but the first thing is to find out if it's an allowed use or not. I mean, I, like I said, I mean, I'd, I'd love to have another meeting, with, but we, we already went through this with, with your building inspector. Right, but I think you need, it's a very technical thing, and yeah. you want to make sure that um, our law, a legal group and the planning board all yeah. understand. I mean, we're not going to be doing anything different than Kippy's done for the last 20 well, you're years. You're bringing so. in new stuff, though, and he says he's composted this off site and then brings it here for storage. So that's the difference. What I'm hearing is that you're bringing stuff directly in that needs to be composted. Processed. And Processed. you're going to process it yeah. there. So that's the difference. When you start bringing in materials from different sources, I believe, but, but we're, we're really not the right. Uh, for forum for right. okay. understanding the technical differences. Yeah. Um, all of our town board meetings are also uh, available on YouTube, thanks to the genius of that man right there. Um, and uh, it, you, it might benefit you to go back and check out some of the town board meetings that we have the last time this issue came up before the town. That might be helpful. I don't know what, what were the last person proposing them. I can, we can get it's you a composting facility yeah. on Route 22 and the I last don't really think he proposed. should, e I don't really, really think I'm he doing. should even be looking at that. Yeah. I think he needs to talk to his consul and yeah. have them advise him whether to go to the planning board or not. I think it's what any other company did or tried to do here is irrelevant at this point. Mm -hmm. Well. It would be because he's not bringing advice. in grasses. Yeah, I'm not, he's I, not I, doing a huge, if they I mean, it sounds basically what he's going to be doing is pretty much what's been done there. But I think you need to go to your console and, yeah. and see uh, where they suggest to go from here. Okay. Any more questions? No. No? 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 Okay, I think you. we're good. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Is there any other public comment? I would like to just follow up. Oh, go ahead. Uh, like I said, we can definitely get in touch with the planning board and look at the rules and regulations, but you know, the, the definition here too is solid waste, is like she said, and make sure you don't want to have bricks, blacktop, that right, kind of right, debris right. coming into the town and use, I understand where she's coming from. So you got to make sure what the definition speaks for and what he's willing to do. Basically, you're just taking some wood and stuff and grinding it and, and doing that stuff. You may not have a sight of what you're talking about. Right. And I think that's got to be clarified so the board knows right. to say this is what is. We had the same discussion many, many years ago about composting. We were, we we're saying, you know, they came to us and said, geez, we really don't know if we want you to use compost in your soil. It's the most natural thing going. And there's a difference of composting and a compost site that's regulated by the state. So everybody in the town uses compost on their yards and everything like right. that. We're all in the same boat. We use it for our lawns. We do whatever we want to do with it. So that's, that's the difference. That's just compost. Composting site is a regulated operation that goes on by the state as mandated. So I mean, it really, it really, you got to get those words so everybody understands. And I know the board because I deal with the board myself. I, like I said, so I understand the knowledge is what's got to be there so you understand. So. Whenever it happens down there when somebody complains or somebody comes back to you and you say, oh, that we went through all this, we know we dotted all our, dotted all our I's and T's. Right. So I just want to let you know that. So there's rules and there's a lot of definitions out there that they can get for you to so let you know. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank Thank you. you. Is there any other public comment? Michelle, she wants to. Yep. Sure. Yep. No, not about that, about whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, why not? Public comment is whatever you want to talk <laughs> Thank about. You. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you for coming in. Are you going to sing for us? <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I mean, I could. Do okay. you identify yourself <laughs> and tell us what you want to tell us? Hi, I'm Jenny Rodriguez. I'm with South Amina Presbyterian Church. And yes, if you ever need me to sing again, let me know. Um, I would be happy to do so. It was definitely an honor to do that for the veterans, and I thank you for the uh, for asking. Um, I'm actually here today to. Um, I wanted to share with our community members that South Amina Presbyterian actually has a few events coming up. So we actually wanted to share that with our members and share it here at the board. On Saturday, April 6th, we are doing a ham lunch. Um, we're going to be doing that from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. On mm -hmm. April 20th, we're going to be doing egg decorating, and we're going to be doing that from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Um, so whether you're, you know, 2 or 200, if you want to come decorate some eggs. Um, <laughs> also, on May 18th, we are going to be having our roast beef dinner. And on May 25th, we're going to be doing um, a strawberry spring fling. Um, so we're trying to work really hard on coming up with... Uh, and what was the date again? Uh, May 25th okay. for the strawberry spring fling. Um, we're trying really hard to come up with some dates and some of our events and make sure that we get them out so the community knows what's going on so um, folks are more know that they're more than welcome to come so they can stop by. For the Strawberry Spring Fling, we are actually going to open that up um, for vendors. So we're going to try to see if we can get some community folks that might be interested in coming. We have a lot of this posted on our Facebook page. So if you have any information, if you want information or if you have any questions, you can contact us through that. Um, and then we'll be glad to get you out any information that you need. Thank you. Is there quick, questions? I do Go have ahead. a quick question. How is the food pantry program going? I know that's a very important thing that you guys do. Um, it's actually going very, very well. Um, we actually have a steady six families that we help regularly. Um, and the reason that we're actually doing the ham luncheon is to help replenish and so that we can actually keep them going. Um, we do that quietly, continually through the year. And then we do large baskets for Thanksgiving and for um, Christmas time when a lot of the children are out of schools. Um, but we do have a steady six solid families that we keep going every year for plenty of supplies. Um, so the ham luncheon, what we get from that ham luncheon is actually going to help offset some of that. Awesome. Did, do you guys variable. take donations for the pantry? We do. Is we there do. any particular time? Uh, um, we, we do have a member that's there during the Seniors Friendship Center. Her name is Lucy Howe. Um, and you can actually drop them off with her. She's there during the Friendship Center time, which is like 8.30 to 2, I believe. Mm. Or you can always definitely drop it off on a Sunday or contact one of us and we'll, we'll meet you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Does, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to walk away. Does anybody else have any other questions? No. Nope. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming in. Any other public comment? No. Supervisor's report. Wasaic Trail to the Train update, construction biddings and process. Town of Amenia Highway gar Garage Land Update Highway Garage Planning Process will begin in April. Amenia Town Hall Upgrades Window Replacement Project and ADA Updates Completed and $32,500 CDBG Reimbursement Received from Dutchess County. Noise Law Update under review by the Town Board. Dutchess County Procurement Shared Services Planner Interviews in April. Regional Ambulance Grant, Town of Amenia, Town of Northeast, Village of Millerton, Town of Dover, will be meeting in April with Dutchess County Department of Emergency Response to discuss the next step. Welsh Sanitation, the Town Board is reviewing Welsh proposals. Grant update, the Town of Amenia has been awarded a 71,000 CDBG uh, Community Development Block Grant for repairing the sidewalk on East Main Street in front of the Amenia Post Office. Town Clerk report. Good evening. The February total 
amounts collected for the office were $915, of which $876.75 was remitted to the town supervisor. Total taxes collected to date, $4,568,203.82, of which $937.18 are part of the penalties. Total remaining balance to be collected for town taxes, town and county taxes, is $741,466.81. Circulated prior to the start of the meeting were the minutes of February 7th, February 19th, and March 7th. Has everybody had the opportunity to look those over? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Are we ready to move? I just need to know who. <laughs> Make a motion to accept the minutes as presented for February 7th. I second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? And for February 19th. Uh, I make the motion that we accept the, the minutes for uh, Tuesday, February 19th. Second. All in favor? Uh, we have to do a Any abstain? Uh, no, oh, we have to. Never mind. We have, as she knows, yeah. I was going to. I'll abstain when uh, you're done. Well, I was trying to. <laughs> Sorry, Dawn. That's why, that's why I said that. Any, all in favor? Aye. <laughs> Any abstentions? Yes. <laughs> There's one. <laughs> Councilman Doyle is abstaining. Thank you. And also the minutes of March 7th. I make the motion that we accept the minutes for March 7th, 2019. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Yeah, I kind of got that down. <laughs> um, also this evening I'm presenting the um, abstract dated March 18th. Uh, I'm presenting to the board for considerations uh, for approval to authorize the supervisor to make said payment. General fund A in the amount of $175,432.81. Highway fund $29,812.75. Amenia Lighting, $1,588.45. Westlake Lighting, $565.57. Amenia Water, $15,069.92. For a total of this month's bills, $222,469.50. I make a motion that we approve the uh, payment of the vouchers as uh, as uh, recorded. I second. Councilwoman Samoji? Yes. Councilman Gutierrez? Yes. Councilwoman Doyle? Yes. Supervisor Perotti? Yes. Uh, this evening, prior to the start of the meeting, the town board members had the opportunity to interview a candidate for the Open Recreation Commission position. Uh, that candidate was Kenneth Elliott. This is for a term to expire on 1231 of 2020. Make a motion that we accept the appointment or that we appoint Kenneth Elliott uh, for the Recreation Commission through the year 2020, December 31st of that year. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Uh, at our last meeting, I presented to you the resignation of Highway Super and um, the Highway Foreman and uh, Deputy Highway Superintendent, and that was Andy Wheeler. Tonight I'm presenting to you uh, two resolutions. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one would be, would be of the accepting of the resignation. And that'll be resolution number 21. Yeah, those two. Yeah, <laughs> I know we get a lot of paper. Yeah, first one's 21. Would be 21. Yes, please. Accepting resignation of Deputy Highway Superintendent and Highway Foreman, whereas Andy Wheeler has submitted his resignation effective March 15, 2019, as Deputy Highway Superintendent and Highway Foreman, whereas Andy Wheeler has been an employee of the Highway Department for 30 years and has served with dignity and reliability, whereas Andy Wheeler has performed his duties for the Highway Department with great distinction and dedication, now, therefore, be it resolved that the town board acknowledges and reluctantly accepts the resignation of Andy Wheeler as deputy highway superintendent and highway foreman 
and longtime employee of the Highway Department, effective March 15, 2019. Be it further resolved that the Town Board acknowledges that Andy Wheeler has served as Deputy Highway Superintendent and Highway Foreman and longtime employee of the Highway Department with great distinction and dedication, commends him for his devoted years of service to the town and wishes him all the best in his future endeavors. I make that motion. I second the motion. Supervisor Perotti. Yes. Councilwoman Doyle. Yes. Councilman Gutierrez. Yes. And Councilwoman Soji. Yes. Uh, acknowledging appointment of highway foreman, whereas Andy Wheeler has submitted his resignation effective March 15, 2019, leaving a vacancy in the position of deputy highway superintendent and highway foreman, whereas Paul Voris currently works in the highway department as highway laborer and has expressed an interest in filling the vacancy and serving in such a capacity as highway foreman, whereas Megan Chamberlain, town highway superintendent, has elected to appoint Paul Voris as highway foreman effective March 18, 2018. Now there, what? 2019. I'm 19, sorry, 2019, <laughs> get the right year. <laughs> now therefore, be it resolved that the town board hereby accepts the resignation of Andy Wheeler as deputy highway superintendent and highway foreman, effective March 15, 2019, and hereby acknowledges the appointment of Paul Voris as highway foreman, effective March 18, 2019, and be it further resolved that Paul Voris shall be paid at the rate of $24.38 per hour. I make that motion. Second. Supervisor Prody? Yes. Councilman Doyle? Yes. Councilman Terrace? Yes. And Councilman Smoji? Yes. Uh, earlier this evening, I received uh, a request for the use of the room at the town hall from the Board of Elections. This has been an ongoing training session that they've offered since we've relocated. Well, actually, we even did it though firehouse. So their class that's going to be offered here this year is going to be October 8th from 1.30 to 4.30. So I'll be reserving the, this room for them again this year. Uh, the lawn mowing bids have been advertised. They're due to the town clerk's office by April 4th at noon. Anyone interested in submitting said bid must do so in a um, sealed envelope to the town clerk's office. And also as a reminder, um, Town Clerk's Office is now selling fishing licenses as we do begin our fishing season prior to our next meeting. And our no burn has been already started in effect for March 14th through May 16th. Um, I've had four people this week come in and ask me for their burning permit. Um, back in 2009 when the DEC changed that regulation, you no longer require coming to the Town Clerk's Office looking for a burning permit, but you are in a no burn ban, so. <laughs> <laughs> Until May 16th. Until May 16th. Yeah, we always call it the um, March 15th to May 15th. Uh, that way you know you're in there because when midnight starts, you, you may begin. Okay. As long as you do so safely with your water source <coughs> and your rake and or tractor. Uh, and that concludes the town clerk's report. Okay, are there any committee reports? Um, the only thing that I have well, is the Easter egg hunt, which is on uh, Saturday, April 6th, from 10 to noon here at the town hall. And uh, everyone is welcome. It's a free event. The Easter Bunny will be there. And uh, we're, it's going to be a little bit different this year. The younger, the younger children, the youngest children, will be going up to the second floor. Uh, there's a room up there and they'll be uh, doing a beanbag toss and getting a little prize and getting some eggs and stuff. Uh, we, we decided we separate them out because uh, sometimes they just don't get the eggs because the older children are so much quicker and faster. So that would be ages one to six, right? Yes, that's, the, yes. that's what it says there, yes. And uh, it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be a great good time for everyone. So it's a little bit different. And if you, uh, you're all welcome. Uh, grandparents, you can bring your grandchildren. Uh, and people who want to volunteer, please come and volunteer to help us out at any, any time you can. Uh, mm -hmm. Our first uh, event Hint, going hint, Carly. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, just in case. <laughs> I to do that. Uh, our first trip is going to be to Hunter Downhill's Playhouse. Take me away. It's April 24th 
and the $66 per person. There's still a few seats left before I turn it in. Um, I think today was the deadline, but uh, I know that sometimes it's a little delay, so I'm okay with that. Uh, we'll do that. And um, our next trip out is going to be in June, and it's going to be to the log cabin for the Lobster Fest. That's going to be on a Tuesday, and um, it's going to be on Tuesday, June 18th. Uh, now, if you want to go to that, as soon as that flyer hits the screen, best call, because I already have people calling me and saying, don't forget, I want to go on that trip, especially. Okay, it's our most popular trip. Okay, and that's all that I have right now for all of you, oh, except the VFW is having their... Uh, last breakfast this coming first Sunday in April and that's that's gonna be their last breakfast so if you want to go to the VFW and have their last breakfast please go there that's it uh, the CAC didn't uh, we canceled that meeting that would have been on the third Wednesday I believe that was yesterday but um, we did have Michael Peake, the chair, gave a presentation at the uh, county EMC and CAC annual roundtable. That's for countywide, and so he reported on the um, CAC activities, both past and the ones um, coming up. Uh, I understand April 11th at 7 p.m. is our Recreation Commission meeting. That's mm -hmm. the next one we have. And that's all I have. Okay. Um, resolution number 23. Mm -hmm. Resolution rejecting all bids and authorizing the solicitation of new bids for the bicycle trail extending from the ham on the Wasaic to the Wasaic Trail Station. For as specifications were prepared and bids were solicited by Daniel Breyer, PE of WSP USA Project Engineer for the work required for the construction of a bicycle trail path extending from the Hamlet of Wasaic to the Wasaic Trail Station. Whereas two bids were received and duly opened on March 13, 2019. Whereas it has been determined that the solicitation of, bid, solicitation of bids did not meet the bidding requirements of Dutchess County due to the fact the bid was not published in the newspaper nor was it posted to the Empire State Purchasing Group. Whereas the town board of the town of Amina has determined it is in the best interest of the town to reject all bids and solicit for new bids in compliance with all state and county requirements. Now, therefore, be it resolved as follows. One, the recitations above set forth are incorporated in this resolution as if fully set forth and adopted herein. Two, the town board of the town of Amenia hereby rejects all bids submitted, received, and open on March 13, 2019. Three, the town board hereby authorizes Daniel Breyer, PE of WSP USA, to rebid the specification for the construction of a bicycle trail path extending from the Hamlet of Wasaic to the Wasaic train station to solicit for new bids for such project in accordance with provisions of section 103D of general municipal law, the state of New York and all state and county requirements. I make that motion. I second. Discussion. Okay. Uh, the fourth, whereas the town board of the town of Menia has determined that it is in the best interest of the town to reject all bids and solicit for new bids. Um, just to clarify there that the county actually requested that we do this, we take this step. Is that, would that be accurate to say? Or did I read that email incorrectly? Ian, maybe you It's just saying that we're rejecting all the bids. I, I, I know, but I'm clarifying for, for the folks at home is my understanding is because certain steps were not taken, the county has asked us to put this out, back out to bid. Correct. Would that be correct? That, that is, that is yes, correct. Yes, that's because um, we have a $100,000 grant from Dutchess County. And so we have to meet all their criteria as, as well, well. As, as well for the federal, we do for the federal grant. Okay, so I've made my frustrations about this process clear over email already. I. Uh, this is the second time we've had to put this out to bid because of 
a lack of adherence to the various requirements that we have from the funding sources. So the first bid we put out was uh, not in compliance with DOT bidding requirements. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. The second bid was not in compliance with uh, county bidding requirements. Um, I am very displeased with the the project management of, of this uh, and, and the fact that we are paying somebody to, to put these bids out for us and we keep having to go back. Um, I just want to be sure that we are not incurring additional costs with our project engineer and, and or his firm to put this back out to bid um, before, I, before I vote on this. Well, we need to vote on it because we need to reject it so we can get them out. Well, we could reject them all but strike the asking uh, WSP to solicit new bids until we clarify that particular item. That would only delay. And we can, um, that hasn't come up to them before, but we, um, I don't see any reason why we have to pay them additional monies to do three different bid specs. They, but we need to get them back out. We get, need to get them back out as soon as possible. Their fee included bid specs, preparing the bid specs and bidding it out, as I recall. And the other thing that the county required, not only did they not advertise in all, in all the right uh, places, but they also were supposed to be able to review the bid specs before they went out to bid. So I think it's more than just rebid. We have to get those bid specs to the county, right? to make sure that they approve them before they go out to bid. Well, whatever steps need to be taken should be, I mean, we're paying somebody to make sure that they know what those steps are and to take those steps appropriately. And we're now two bids that we've had to throw in the trash. And I just want to be sure that we are not being billed for having to put this out to bid a third time because of lack of uh, compliance or adherence to the requirements that we have with this project. So. I thought it was rolled into our overall it fee is. It, it's of rolled into the overall fee. We paid, paid it up front, and that's what they're supposed to deliver us, the, you know, the bids being out, uh, put together, and uh, bid specs drawn up and published and... Um, Okay, I'm it should not all be part of that. We should not pay, and I don't think we should see any bills from no, them. That I is, haven't seen hey, any. That's already, we paid it up front. We, we okay. paid it I, up. I'm not familiar with the contract with WSP pr predates right. me, no, so I'm not familiar. If it is that. a flat fee, then that's great. My yep. concerns are, uh, well, are I, um, addressed. No, but paying that separately. The embarrassment of this process remains, but I can, I can move forward with my vote. Roll. Supervisor Prodi? Yes. Councilwoman Doyle? Yes. Councilman Gutierrez? Yes. Councilwoman Samoji? Yes. Okay, the only other matter item I have is the um, transfer of funds. That's 24. Mm -hmm. In order to allocate the reimbursement we got for the grant. Much happier news. Yes. <laughs> Money always is. Whereas the town board has the authority to transfer funds when necessary, unanticipated to amend the budget. Whereas budget amendment, the general fund increasing revenue line 3089.01 state aid other by $32,500 and increasing expense line 16204.01.155 building CE maintenance CDBG by $32,500 for CDBG ADA grant reimbursement from Dutchess County. Now therefore be it resolved that the town of Amenia authorizes a transfer of necessary budget lines to process the transactions. Be it further resolved that this resolution shall become effective immediately. Make that motion. Second. Supervisor Prodi? Yes. Councilman Doyle? Yes. Councilman Gutierrez? Yes. Councilwoman Samoji? Yes. Are there any other town board comments? It just occurs to me that um, I think the 
um, Berkshire Taconic um, Community Foundation Northeast Duchess um, Fund is that probably that application is going to be due April 1st or April 15th. I, I, I can't remember the date. Is there a general um, interest in seeing if Heather Hullahan would be available? Uh, no. Again this year? No. no. Okay, so what do you uh, you think we should not apply for a grant? For I think we should. I think we should. We program? could apply for a grant, but I think we need to uh, research and to see who else or what else we can do with that grant. Well, I, I write the grant, so you'd have to tell me what you want to see here um, happening. Well, we I have to apply for the grant. We've always. We've always offered the program. Well, yeah, right. offer the, yeah, offer the program to say w what it is that we generally say that we're looking for in the grant. We're looking, we want to put on a, a Christmas uh, presentation. Is no, we want to offer dance, le dance lessons. The recital is the end result. Yeah, but that's her private recital. No. Okay. Um, it's a result of all the lessons that she's given and projects with the final uh, it's like the final is performance is part of it I think I make a motion to authorize um, Vicki Doyle to apply for the Berkshire Taconic grant for the dance program second Councilman Samoji no Councilman Gutierrez yes Councilman Doyle um, am I supposed to abstain from my own writing of the grant? I think you should abstain. Abstain? Supervisor Prody? Yes. So it's, does that pass? Okay. Abstain from... Well, uh, it, it, voting on my own on effort to... It's not grant. her grant, she's just her writing grant. it. But if it's your interest. I write the grant on behalf of the town of Amenia every year since 2004. Right, but you're not the recipient. I'm not a recipient. Yeah. No, the town's a recipient. The town is. I do the publicity for it for free. I don't get paid at all. But. Can I can I re um, can I change my motion? You can do another motion. Sure. That one failed. Okay. Yeah, no, make, can just say I can make a motion. <laughs> I make a motion to authorize Mike Haggerty to write the dance grant for Berkshire Taconic. Second. He's our grant writer. Council, uh, Councilman Smoji. Is that, uh, I just have a question. Is that he's just writing the grant? He's not writing it specifically to be paid to a specific person, but simply for the town of Amenia to receive the grant money. He's so just looking for the money for the for, for the, the program, and then we can do a, a program that would. Be, okay. Yes. For the money, um, Councilman Doyle. I vote no. Councilman Gutierrez. <laughs> just... Damien? Yes. And Supervisor Prody? Yes. Any further items, Vicki? Um, person. No, that was, oh, uh, well, oh, I was. Are there any more ten, town board comments? I have a couple. Okay. Unless Vicki has No, one. go ahead. Uh, it is springtime. Happy spring. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there is nobody out there in TV land making fun of my spring sweater the way my coworkers did at the office today. I love <laughs> it. I love that color. Thank you. My mother got me the sweater. She has very nice. There we go. That's good. Um, nice Egg has put out a high wind warning for this weekend, potential power outages, so there might be uh, some happy spring weather. Um, and then uh, Wasaic Park, I heard recently that the trash can had gone missing uh, down at Wasaic Park. I have not gone down myself yet to verify that, but I will do so tomorrow. If that is gone, can we request another from Welsh? Yeah, just need to call him. 
Okay, and then the other question that I got about the park was uh, related to some of our efforts to find some grant money for um, new equipment and a redesign, and I was just wondering if you had any updates on that, Victoria, based on the last time Parkitects went out there. I know we didn't get the grant that we applied for, but... Um, no, we applied for CDBG and we didn't get it, but there is a Parks and Recreation grant in the CFA that's due later this summer. That's the um, consolidated funding application. There is a part, a part of it for Parks and Recreation. Great. So we can, um, we can apply there. Uh, the gentleman that I spoke to was a uh, Wasaic uh, resident, has kids uh, that play baseball. Also wondered why uh, the baseball field down there wasn't potentially used as an additional field for the baseball program. I'm not sure if that is something we could interest Weebetuck in or not, but uh, that was uh, brought to my attention this past week. That's it. I do have one more or two more items. One is that um, I believe March 30th is hazardous waste and um, and Poughkeepsie? Yeah, yes, and electronic oh, right. recycling yes, right. is Saturday, March 30th at the Poughkeepsie, um, oh gosh, that's the, um, I'll pull up a, the email. I have the email here. Yeah. You want me to read it? I think it's at the um, right on uh, Duchess Turnpike, 626. I think we might have that on channel Duchess 22. Turnpike. Already advertised? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have. To, I think I sent that mm -hmm. to. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I sent that to my. So uh, the information's on channel 22. It's 8 a.m. to 12. Because as soon as I get it, I send it to him and put it out here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, um, just to note, though, you do have to pre register yes. if you want to bring stuff right. down there electronics or right. paint or. I think it's $10 now. Yeah, I, I know when we spoke with the Welsh man the other time, that was one of the questions I had about can he leave that place no. open to collect that material? No, no. And, and that said, material only goes to Poughkeepsie. Only to Poughkeepsie. They don't even take it. Right. No. So that's. That's nothing that they take. So that means everybody here in this area, if you've got what you've got, um, well, hazardous materials, hazard. they need to go to Poughkeepsie yeah. anyway. And the other thing I um, have heard from several residents is that um, if you require the services of our ambulance that is paid for full time here, that residents are being charged mileage. To, um, separately, which is not covered by most insurance policies. The two people I spoke to, it ran into the neighborhood of $300 for mileage. So I don't know if that's in our contract that we have, but um, I think Supervisor uh, Perotti was going to look into that and see if that was a part of the allowed charges. And I'm looking forward to a quarterly meeting, um, hopefully in April, with the ambulance service providers. That's all I have. Okay. I make a motion to go into executive session with the uh, town attorney, our new cert attorney, and our assessor, and the town clerk is excused. I second that motion. I'd like to and add to that. We're, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. It's, okay. And um, well, <laughs> it's also been requested that we add for the second purpose for contract negotiations regarding transfer station, and that will be inviting your town attorney. And that uh, Councilwoman Doyle has, I believe, agreed to take the minutes. Happy to do that. <laughs> motion to return. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? 753.